All right. We got outside camera. We got anxiety mark and phone has the mic. What could go wrong, right? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Reading Ramble. The fact that this is the only video that has been uploaded since the last Reading Ramble is the fact that it has not been outside of my own attention and is quite depressing. Nonetheless, uh, I'm at a parkour event today. I think if I don't get this Reading Ramble out for end of April, this channel hangs on nothing. <laughs> And hey, maybe I'll get more confident and comfortable as I go through this. We got New Jersey behind me, <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Completed three books, on my way to complete five. So let's talk about those. First thing is American Assassin. So I thought I was reading the third one. In reality, uh, the first two were prequels, and I'm kind of glad I read them first. Usually you appreciate the prequels more, but I really appreciated this, uh, reading this, the first book, I guess after the prequels. Good thrillers if you're into it. was very politically charged, this one, at least more so than the first two. Definitely a little more violent, but nothing like graphic. Uh, if you're into thrillers, again, I would recommend. Nice leisure read. I think I finished it in the first week. The next book I finished was Grokking Algorithms. I did not have much to finish, so I don't even know if you can count this as an April read. But I just want to mention that if you're into algorithms, if you're starting off with computer science, or you've been in coding for a while, and you're, you're either looking for an introduction for or algorithms and stuff as a programmer, or you're looking for, you know, to get back into it, kind of like I was. Um, it's a great intro and overview. It did for me exactly what I needed it to do, which was kind of kickstart and intrigue and algorithms and just kind of get me thinking about the bigger picture to start me leak coding again. Um, and leak coding is finally bearable to me. In fact, I, I have been finding it quite fun, especially when you do the same problems with other people. If you have any interest in data structures and algorithms, uh, I would definitely recommend just kind of looking into the book. Yeah, Aditya Bar Bargat. I'm gonna pull that on the side. And then the third book that I finished, which was definitely like an easy finish, was Moonwalking with Einstein. Uh, a friend of mine recommended this to me two years ago. It came up on the list. And I was like, look what came up. And she was like, I said that like two years ago. <laughs> Uh, and I was like, oh, whoops. Well, now that I'm reading books, I guess things are surfacing. The premise of the book was that the author uh, went and just in a year became the US memory champion. And I've been inspired to pick that up again. Uh, when I was younger, I watched The Mentalist and got super into kind of body language, behavior, and memorization in that regard. So I reopened some of my memory palaces, bringing back uh, linked lists, as I, I come to call them. It's a kind of data structure term definitely definitely applicable because you, you start with the first thing and you just kind of go you can't really start in the middle so yeah it, it's been fun to kind of do that but at the same time i think the two big messages i got from the book are that a your memory our brains and i guess i'm pulling from some of my own psych studies as well are meant to forget if we remember everything uh, there's a problem with that in one case someone who remembers everything they hear can't summarize that information efficiently um, you know remembering everything is not possible it is however with tricks so you know you eidetic memories I, I, they don't exist but with tricks and they're not easy tricks but they're tricks like the memory palace you can improve your own memory in the sense that right now I'm creating associations for every card in a deck. So every ace is some type of association with a sword, etc, etc. And so you memorize these visually and you do the same thing with shopping lists. If you need meat and butter, you picture, I don't know, a cow made of butter and you get ground beef and butter. Terrible example, but it's all visual and there are tricks to remember these lists of things. But as the author mentions, getting back to the book, hello, Burb, are you going to approach? can feature you 20 people <laughs> as the author goes and talks about at the end of the day he still couldn't re remember exactly where he put his keys uh, he still couldn't just magically remember several things you still have to pay attention and that's getting back into this I've been noticing myself kind of paying attention when I get on the subway you know and get on the subway a few stops you walk off it's not about okay let me think back now to how many red shirts were on the subway you have to take stock of those things when you get there you have to pay attention to remember in the first place a great example in my case and i want to make a whole video about it is memorizing kanji for japanese creating these mnemonics and associations is super important because in a sense the memorization itself is arbitrary 
I've become very good at recalling, okay, that kanji's this, that kanji's that. But as soon as it comes to write them, I, I falter. Water, ice, and request, Mark, throw those up on the screen, please. They all look the same in a general sense, but I can very easily distinguish this one's that, this one's that, this one's that. But writing them, I can't even remember the big strokes. So you really do just have to pay attention when you start to memorize things. And at the end of the book, he mentions that he's a pretty average person. And I really res resonate with what he was saying because that's part of my mission with this YouTube channel in the sense is he's an average person and yet he was able to become the USA Memory Championship. I'm an average person. I Have I been putting in effort in the last six months to learn Japanese? Not even remotely the amount of effort necessary. The last two months have been difficult. Is it an excuse? Is it a reason? I don't know. That's that's something else to think about. I should be much further than I am in a year. It's just a matter of being able to commit and prioritize. Anyone's capable of it. I truly believe that. And the author says that at the end. He says, anyone can do this. There are people in the world who are less visual minded or more visual minded, but they can still conceptualize things. You know, some people imagine a red star as a red five-pointed shape. Some people imagine the sun kind of star. Some people can't picture it, but they know what a star is. Either way, you can use Memory Palace to your advantage. These tricks are things that anybody can learn and with commitment, anybody can get good at. Uh, and that's a super important idea, to me at least. The notion of talent is is an iffy one. So merging into uncompleted, but uh, you know, worth worth talking about. Nerds per minute, I'm about three fourths through. Uh, there was an article on the New York Times lately uh, about speed typing and give it a read. Uh, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description to it. Uh, a bunch of the typing discords sent it out to everybody. Um, good read. I think if you want to know more about it, definitely check out Nerds per minute. The first chunk of it is boring, not in the way it's written, but like it's very historical and origin of the typewriter. But you kind of it's not like you have to stick through it, but once you get to the latter parts of the book, it starts to become a lot more important, that that knowledge of the history and how it comes up and you know how the origins and potential origins of the QWERTY layout influence people's choices to do QWERTY, Dvorak, Colmac, whatever. As I mentioned in the last Reading Ramble, uh, one of my video topics, the Homer Method is a Lie, is based on that book, and yet I didn't release the video. Uh, there's a deeper issue there. Just trying to push out this reading ramble. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Nerds for a Minute, if you're just be typing, definitely worth checking out. Road to Sada has barely started. I'm gonna bring it with me when I'm on vacation this upcoming week. The guy really walks Japan. That's it. <laughs> Again, my goals are the same as the last reading ramble. And Myth of Sisyphus, uh, according to my Kindle, I'm about 62% through. It's a pretty short read. I just think a lot and it's hitting me at a strange time in the sense that it poses a lot of questions that I think I've been asking myself in, in other ways right now. And I have a bullet that says, we'll finish by May 2nd. <laughs> it's April 30th right now. I don't know when this is going up. But yeah, so that's what I've been reading. If you have any intrigue in the channel, I'm going to make the same goal as I did last month. Getting that parkour video up and getting out uh, the home row method is a lie. Yeah, if, if I don't get this out, I don't know. I, I want to do more tech stuff for sure. I have this idea for a little web page for, for Shiba Motivation to kind of do that in like an hour and a half, two hour sprint and live stream it and then cut it down. The Twitless live stream stopped just because I've been working on Leetcode and other things, which I'll stay vague about. I'm going to leave it there. Those are the books I'm reading. Those are the books I'm going to read. Here's to hoping I will see you in the parkour video and then the Homer method is a lie and not the May reading ramble because it's disappointing. It's depressing. I will deliver. I was trying to think of a third word that begins with letter D, but now I'm rambling. So yeah, I really want this channel to go somewhere. I haven't given up on it and I'm trying my best not to. <laughs> it felt like without this reading ramble, uh, I would have. Yeah, that'll be it for now. And uh, hopefully in the next video, when I start it off, I can actually say, hi, I'm Mark and I know what I am because I have no idea who I am or what I'm doing right now. I'm done rambling. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you in the next upload.